about to get into some of this flooded kelp stocks right now. I'm gonna go ahead and fish the, it's a five inch weedless bait, owner beast hook, 8.0. Finally got my custom, my favorite custom rod rewrapped. All right guys, let's go ahead and make a few casts, see what we can get into. There we go guys, I got one. Fishing the weedless bait. Not a giant, but we got one. Just here on the outer kelp edge. <laughs> a little weedless bait. Casting it right near those stalks. Start winding back. Woo! They're doing backflips this morning. The fish are up. The fish are up right now. I like this, uh, this nice overcast condition in here but it's like slightly sunny, slightly overcast. We got the tide movement. Moon is off full. So lots of good things happening right now. There we go. Woo. Another one, little guy. <laughs> I'm on that one pound model right here. <laughs> so still looking for that bigger bite, but catch him. Wasn't prepared for that. Bigger one. Oh, not that big. <laughs> I saw his back come out and I got, oh man, that's a big one. Not at all big. <laughs> not at all big, but his back came straight out of the water. He's pretty sick. That's the cool thing about a topwater bite in 60 foot of water. I'm guessing the battery's dead on the trolling motor. I didn't charge it last night and I've been using the boat, I think two or three times without charging it. All right, nice one again on the weedless. Got a mouthful of it. Get the little dude back in. Weedless bait still kicking. So we're about to get back into that, that kelp edge we were just fishing. So I like it, we're doing good. Oh. Dude, he smacked it and then I missed him. And then he came back for it. I don't know. Ah, he came off. He came off. Yep. Kelp tricked. <sighs> Missed him. All right, we had kind of a brown color going, so we'll just continue with that. So it's so an owner beast hook with the screw lock. Let's find the fl front of the bait's nose, screw it in there. And then you find out where the hook's going to be. Bend that bait, get that hook in there. Make sure it's straight. You wanna make sure that that body is nice and straight. Let's get back to it. Well, we're a little bit at the mercy of the wind right now. The slight breeze that's here cause um, trolling motor does not have juice out. So we're just gonna fish. Oh, that was sick. There we go. Oh my God. Oh my God, missed it three times. So yeah, we're at the mercy of the wind right now, but we're just gonna fish down these areas and kind of shoot these lanes. Whew. Dude, there we go. <laughs> Came back and got it. Dude, such a sick little bite. This one's got the war paint on him. He's starting it up. You can 
see the orange underneath his eyes. Got a calico that's uh, starting to spawn there. War paint. Kind of rigged this, this bait wrong. When I put that screw lock in the nose, I rigged it. I rigged it a little too far down. So the bait wants to come out of the water a bit. Alright, a little better fish here. They're definitely on the outer kelp edge. Heck yeah, man. Getting into them right there. <laughs> nice calico right there. All right, letting the little buddy go. I'm a little bit deeper in the kelp than I want to be. And there's an exit coming up. So we'll probably just fish through this stuff till we get to that exit and then head back out to that outer stuff. Outer stuff is, looks like what's biting better than in here. But I'm just shooting for little lanes and little openings. Trying to put the weedless in a, you know, a little spot where it can swim. If you guys fish this type of rig right here, the weedless swim bait for calico bass, a lot of times what you're gonna see is they're gonna hit it right before it gets to the kelp stock, right before it gets to the structure. It's like their last moment to go and smash the bait before it gets away. So that's what happened there. I was just about to get to the kelp stock, actually on a lot of these bites, just about to get to the kelp, st kelp stringer and boom, got hit. So we didn't get it that time, but we're gonna keep running through this stuff here. Oh my God. I saw him eat it, I set the hook, nada. I should have waited just a tad bit longer. Set the hook a little too early. I, he boiled on it so hard though. I thought he had it. It was a sick bite though. He came out of the stringer to eat it. He made a wake. What the f Dude, he had it. He was chewing on it. Well, he ate it that time. All right. Yeah. Yellow tail follower. Yellow tail. I saw it. All right, we got a better calico bass. But what's up with that yellowtail follower in the kelp? <laughs> All right, looking better now. Looking bigger, getting bigger. Cool, dude. Let's go ahead and put him in the water. Found a little condition here. It worked for a second, guys. Trolling motor worked for one half millisecond. Go ahead and think about it. Yeah, big one. Good one. Not a big one, but a good one. They hit it like a good big one. <laughs> Not a big one. <laughs> Chubby little guy. Did get one in this stuff, so stoked. In here chasing bait, so. That was cool, there was three yellowtail back there. They were pushing bait up against the, pushing bait up against the kelp line. Whoo, calico at the boat.
barracuda guys. It's a big one too. Just let go of the jig. I think we're out here with the barracudas. What's well, a big one though? I'm hoping some yellowtail underneath this stuff, guys. I want a yellowtail. Just go ahead and swim the jig a little bit faster. Try to shake off those barracuda. See them blowing up down there. I'm gonna run and gun down there, guys. Got something here, guys. I'm not sure what it is. Barracuda. <laughs> it hit, ooh. Oh my God, big yellowtail with it. Holy Oh my God, a giant yellowtail. Oh, that thing was huge, dude. Gigantic yellowtail with this stupid barracuda. Oh my God, that thing was like a 40 pounder. Please be out there somewhere. There's a big yellowtail in the area, guys. Big yellowtail. Dude, at least 30 pound fish. Oh my God, he was a giant. He saw that barracuda and followed him all the way in. Holy mackerel, there's a big yellowtail. That's the one I want to catch. Dude, gigantic yellowtail. Come on, big guy. Find the surface iron. I know you're still hot. Whew, he was flared up. Boy, he was trying to get that jig. He was trying to get the jig away from the uh, barracuda's face. I was hoping he was gonna eat the whole thing. <laughs> he was big enough to eat the whole thing. Seriously, if he would've just taken him like head in, head first, he would've... <sighs> Dude, if we hook that fish, we have a... 10% chance of getting him, getting him out of here because it's we are in the kelp forest boy golly dude frothing oh my god yeah if I, well, I don't care I want to hook him no matter what I'll dive in and get him unreal Seriously, not real. Oh man, the size of that fish was gigantic. Calico on the iron. All right. Got a nice one on the iron though. <laughs> yeah, nice calico bass. On the surface iron. Dude, insane though. That was a sick bite. Had a bunch of followers with him. Got one to commit. There's a lot of big fish with this one. This is probably not the biggest fish by any stretch of the imagination with that group. But it's good to get a biter. Had him swarming on the mint there. <laughs> the mint service iron. All right, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and call it here. I've had a couple hours on the water, caught quite a few calico bass, caught some barracuda, and I saw that monster yellowtail. Man, that thing had to be 30 pounds. It looks super long. If you guys have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them in the comments section below. I am the one that will answer those so I can get back to you with anything about the gear, rod and reel, how I'm fishing it, any questions. Thanks again for all the support. If you guys like this kind of stuff, subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. All right, guys, it's summertime. The bite is on. Get out there, go fishing, hook that giant.